Hi guys, welcome to this upload onto my channel today. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you'll be in and updated anytime when I do any videos for you guys right here on YouTube.com. Now, one thing is I want to actually sit down and chat to you about, but first and foremost, last week another Blu-ray came to my collection towards my Jason Statham collection is Crank 2. I've watched it on TV numerous of times, but obviously because I'm collecting Jason Statham movies, I thought, you know what, I need to get the first one. I think it was never released on Blu-ray, I'm not 100% sure the first one, but I know the second one is, but I could be wrong. So don't take my word for it. And I noticed a lot of Music Mad Pie stuff I got refunded for because obviously it was out of stock. I'm not pissed off about it because quite honestly I was overwhelmed with the amount of Blu-rays came in that massive box and those packages I got last week. Now, one thing I want to actually say to you guys is I do apologise that I haven't uploaded in over a week. It's due to work commitments. Originally I was on three shifts, then it turned into six, which I am grateful for. Don't get me wrong, it's extra money in my back pocket towards obviously me staying alive in this world so i hope people understand why i've not uploaded um but obviously i did get a day off last week but i was just too exhausted to um press record you know i just wanted to stay in bed all day you know that's what i mainly do when i'm not off work when i'm off work sorry and I like to sit down and watch a movie or watch a classic comedy or watch something wrestling related and that's what I do on my days off I know it's sad but it's true but it's one of those things I have to sit down and unwind and enjoy my moment in time to, to me be me and I enjoy doing that and obviously I've still not got around to watching motorsport the last two episodes, which I'll be watching probably about four or five o'clock this afternoon. So hopefully me and Nick are recording for my main channel, the podcast. Uh, it's a double bill, so please check that out once that's uploaded. Much appreciated. And back onto the topic at hand. And I get these phone calls from the hospital that... We're not able to take the reading from your pacemaker. You know, it frustrates me every time because having this pacemaker, granted it's saving my life, but it's pissing me off at the same time because every so often I get these calls and then it says, oh, you have to press the heart button on your monitor. Oh, we'll have to get the um, people to ring you to and I'm ignoring the call because I didn't know who this number is. And it's coming from Brussels. That's where their head office is situated in Brussels. And it's coming up with that. And what are you expect me to do? Answer that? Because it could be telesales. You know, I don't want to cold call her all the time. It really frustrates me when, when I get those. And probably you guys get frustrated with them. When you're not interested. I do apologise about my hair. I've not long woke up. Because I've been dwelling on doing a video like this. So I've not actually talked about. Having a pacemaker as such. That much on my channel recently. And. And they always call it. Inconvenient times like. Oh can we do a reading today? No you can't because I'm at work. So this is oh when you get home press the heart and the usual thing. And I thought okay. So I rang they gave me a free phone number finally to fucking what you call it to ring about my uh pacemaker unit. I do apologize about the glare. And no bullshit to you whatsoever they say it's perfectly fine our end. I don't know what who's been ringing you, etc. like that. And then there's like... And it seems like it's wasting my time ringing them. Even though it's a free phone number that I've gave, they've gave me to contact them instead of them contacting me. 
But I'm getting sick and tired of fucking pressing that heart fucking button. This monitor is meant to be automatic. You know, does it automatically? But when the hospital rings me, fine. I'll do the reading as and when I can, obviously, because of last week it was just hectic. You know, the amount of hours. But it does frustrate me having this pacemaker. You know, it's not just because it sets metal detectors off, which it's known for. But it just frustrates me that they want to take a reading. But I can't change my life around if I've got a shift that day. I can't phone up my boss short notice. By the way, I might be a bit late because I've got a pacemaker reading to do. You know... And it's weird, though, because you press the hard button, you got that little, I'll call it a Lego figure when it's not. It looks like one of those play doll things that you use to get with Duplo or something. And if, the, if it goes up to the other side, the doctor's got it. And I've not had that. Every time when I've spoken to the people that have fucking been at the help centre towards... Um, you know, the monitor, when I've spoken to them, it's gone through for when I pressed it, when I've talked to them, but it's not when I talk to the hospital. That so fucking pisses me off, guys. You don't know the frustration it is having one of these things in you, even though, yeah, it's keeping me alive and all that lot, but I thought I'd tell you guys how I'm feeling right now, you know, even though today's my day off, but still, I, I'm grateful to have, they've found something wrong with me, I'm grateful that they're giving me this pacemaker, but to have them to keep ringing me when they need to do a pacing check, and I'm not expecting letters to come through the post, but I'm just... They phoned me at the wrong time. You know, I have my phone... You're not meant to have... Part of my contract states that I'm not meant to have my phone on me, but obviously I've got to have it on me because of medical reasons, which work understands. But... It's just the frustration that... I want to vent out to you guys to see if you understand where I'm coming from. You know? See if it's happened to you. And it frustrates me that to, to have myself um, have this. You know? I can't do pacing checks when they want. You know? I can do them when I get home. Or when I'm off. But it's frustrating as it is when they ring me mid-shift. I can't even answer my phone. And the annoying thing is when the, when you ring the number they ring you off. This is the hospital. It's a mailbox number. This says any more. No need to ring us if you, it goes stereotypical. No need to ring us. We'll ring you if there's any more problems. How the fuck am I going to find out what the problem is if I don't get a chance to answer the phone or contact them back? I could easily ring, yeah, the hospital, but it just seems pointless because the way that voicemail is left for me, you know? Left for me or whoever the ring, but why don't they just ring from a direct fucking line these days? You know? It worries me when I see hospital come up on my phone. That's how I stored it. I stored it by the brand of the hospital. Granted to keep an eye on me. Granted on that. But the frustration of it. Is doing my fucking head in. You know. It does my head in. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I just thought. I'll update you guys. My health is perfectly fine. Don't get me wrong. As I feel at the moment. I take my medication on time like every morning. That's fine. But it's just frustrating me to have this pacemaker. 
to have them to ring me when it's meant to be an automatic service. They're not, they're saying, oh, it's not connected. Oh, we'll get someone to ring you to troubleshoot it. But the base unit is communicating with it. Oh, doors my head in. So I hope you understand my frustration, guys. But the dog's having a go, go, go downstairs. I thought, you know, I'll talk to you guys about it. But until next time, guys, catch you guys soon.